Welcome to the October Ultrasound Case of the Month. For anyone new to the series, each case highlights clinical examples where ultrasound helped take better care of patients. As always, email me with any questions or concerns at gzon at iu.edu. This case was evaluated in the emergency department by one of our new interns, Dr. Dan Epperson, and his attending, Dr. Brian Ross. They were working a shift at Eskenazi Hospital when the patient presented for evaluation. The patient was a 63-year-old male presenting by a medic secondary to sudden onset of unilateral right flank pain with radiation into his groin. He denied a history of similar episodes of pain and denied a history of kidney stones. He denied trauma or known inciting factors. The patient denied any urinary complaints, including hematuria or dysuria. And based on his symptomatic complaints, he was triaged to the low acuity section of the emergency department. His vitals were documented in triage and found to be remarkable for a markedly elevated blood pressure. He had a medical history remarkable for CHF, hypertension, and tobacco abuse. On exam, he was found to be in moderate distress secondary to his pain, and the resident documented that he was writhing and kept changing positions. His back exam did not display abnormality, and his abdomen was found to be soft without tenderness or guarding. Given the patient's distress on exam, the resident managing the case felt that his differential could be honed with utilization of bedside ultrasound. The following images were obtained at bedside shortly after the patient was roomed. Here are the first images obtained of the patient. I will give you a few seconds to interpret before pinpointing relevant pathology. Hopefully based on the images and the chief complaint, you are able to determine the location, the structure, and the abnormality. As you likely have determined, this is a transverse view of the abdominal aorta. The aorta is the large pulse-tile structure with the echogenicity within the lumen. The classic landmark of the vertebral body is difficult to visualize, yet the IVC is clearly visualized to the left of the aorta. Here's a second view of the aorta. This view gives a slightly different orientation of the aorta. It represents a more distal image as we can see the iliacs coming into view. Given the imaging along with the patient's presenting complaint, the treatment team was obviously concerned. They noted the aneurysmal dilation of the aorta measuring almost six centimeters and also noted the echogenicity within the lumen, which they were unclear if this represented intraluminal clot versus dissection. Given the concern for pending aneurysmal rupture versus dissection, contrasted imaging was obtained even before labs had resulted. Esmolol and nicardipine were initiated and vascular was immediately consulted. A CTA of the order showed aneurysmal dilation with concern for intraaortic clot, yet no evidence of dissection. Based on the plan for endovascular repair, the patient required transfer to a quaternary care center. The patient was transferred to Methus Hospital for repair. Upon arrival to Methus, the patient underwent immediate operative intervention for endovascular repair of his aortic aneurysm. He experienced an uneventful postoperative course and was discharged on postoperative day 7. Bedside ultrasound for evaluation of abdominal aorta displays excellent testing characteristics and is incredibly easy to perform. As a tip, utilize a curvilinear probe to apply slow and steady pressure to displace bowel gas. Identifying the arterial body shadow can also help confirm accurate anatomy. This is a great case because it represents how ultrasound is able to help assist the bedside clinician. The differential for sudden onset of flank pain is fairly focused and ultrasound can help the clinician obtain views of the kidney and the aorta to potentially help guide decisions and interventions. By identification of what was felt to be a symptomatic aneurysm with impending rupture, the treatment team was able to engage vascular surgery, start vasoactive medications, in order appropriate follow-up imaging while preparing the patient for operative intervention. This patient's pathology represents a serious emergent condition in which a timely diagnosis can greatly impact morbidity and mortality. Congrats to our new intern and utilizing ultrasound to take great care of this patient. Thank you for watching. Continue using ultrasound to help take better care of your patients. As always, email me with any questions or concerns.